Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Paul Brown Show. We're shooting live, and I have as my special guest, Miss Vanya Smalls and Miss Monique Smalls. Hello. Hello. How y'all ladies doing today? Good. How about yourself? Good. Good. And this is the you're the founder of Mole Circle of Brands. Yes, sir. First of all, and you're mother and daughter. I thought y'all yes. were sisters. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? We get that a lot. We get that. Yeah, yeah. Life yeah. don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the audience a little bit about yourself, Bonnie. I was um, born and raised in Miami, Florida. I'm the second of five children, and I've been living here for about 12 years. 12 years? Yeah, 12 okay. years. Monique, tell yes, the audience sir. a little bit about yourself. Well, obviously, you know, my name is Monique. I am 25 years old. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida as well. I am the youngest of four children, and I am the co-founder of Mo's Circle of Friends. Oh, okay. Founder and co-founder. That's okay. right. So how long has Mo's Circle of Friends been in existence? Mo's Circle of Friends has been around for eight years. Ooh. Yeah, long time. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. About eight years ago, me and a couple of my friends were actually thinking about something that we can do for the kids in the community. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of, you know, started from there. And it went from the uh, Easter egg hunt, because that's where it first started, from Easter egg hunts. It went from the Easter egg hunt to the Halloween parties. And then Monique, it was Monique's idea to start the feedings. Yeah, it was her idea to start the feedings. Once a month, we feed on rivers and rentals. Um, yeah, once a month, we feed on rivers and rentals. What day? Time? On a Saturday at 8.30, breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, being in the community, what was your reason for wanting to start the program? Well, when I first moved here, I seen that it was a need in the community because over here in Hunter's Ridge, it's a high crime area. You know, you got drugs, you got, you know, violence, violence you got, you know, all, all of that negativity. And we felt like if we can pour a little positive in there, mm -hmm. you know, positivity in there, then hey, maybe we can flush that negativity out. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. So, Monique. Yes, sir. Being at such a young age, what inspired you to want to be part of Mo Circle of Friends? Well, what inspired me, I always had this thing of like giving back and always just wanting to help others because that's how I was raised, you know? So, in high school, I had this group of friends. We wanted to feed the homeless, but we just never fed the homeless. So, my mom, when my mom started her nonprofit organization, I brought up the idea. And then what inspired me is just seeing a lot of people out here that really do, does not have food, shelter, clothing, and things like that. Yeah. Okay, um, Vanya, now I know, what would you consider to be the mission of Moral Circle of Brand? Our mission is to inspire, uplift, Inspire, uplift, and, and try like, to and educate, educate, and reach as much people people as possible. We may not can reach everybody, but we can reach as much people as possible. Help as many people as mm -hmm. possible. So, Monique, describe that feeling that you have to have being a me mentor to these young ladies in this community, and that they probably need. It's an amazing feeling to be a mentor to kids that need mentoring, if that makes sense. They have parents, but they cannot talk to their parents about everything, you know? So when I, when I mentor kids, it's just an amazing feeling. I can describe what I cannot describe. It's an amazing feeling to be loved and be cared by the kids enough to, for them to tell me things and just mentor them to show them the path and the way to do everything. It's cool. It's an amazing feeling. And yourself, Anya, how does it feel like for you 
being the founder of this organization to be a mentor to these young boys and girls who really look up to y'all. I love it, you know, because I don't look at myself as being a mentor. It's deeper than that for me. I'm granny. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call me. I'm granny, and I love it. But they, do they, are they able to communicate with you? I mean, because I know they probably have a lot of things inside that they can't tell their parents that they need to let out. Yeah, you know, they can trust me. You know, and I, I've had certain situations where, you know, kids have kind of come and tell me, you know, things that have gone, taken place in their house. Oh, so, yeah. And it feels really good that they can trust you enough to, um, you know, let you know what's going on. Does that motivate you to do even more for them? Yes, sir. It motivates me even more. And for yourself, Monique, how does it make you feel when you hear some of the stories that the, the boys and girls in this community may be telling you, the issues that they may be having in their homes that may affect not only them, but their, their education and stuff? It makes, me, it makes me feel sad because certain things in life I didn't have to endure as a child. So when I have to see it, it makes me sad. So I'm like, I didn't have to endure that. So I try my best to always be there to help, to, you know, just to be that uplifting and just beautiful person. Because it's, it's sad. A lot of issues that go on in the house that no one knows about because a lot of kids don't feel comfortable talking to their parents. They can't tell their friends because their friends not wiser enough, you know, to know certain situations. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Well, that's what they're, we're here for, man. Yeah. Why is it so important to be a good listener in, in, in addition to being someone to provide them with information? Why is it good to be a good listener? Because, um... I know me, myself, when um, I'm going through problems, you know, sometimes you just want an ear. Yes, most definitely. You don't want anybody, just, just listen to me. Yes, yes. You know, and now I've, in, on my lifetime, in my lifetime, I learned that to be very important. So listening, not always talking and trying to fix it, just listen. So yes. that's one thing I've learned to do, and um, that's what I do. I'm just, good listener, I'm just saying, man. Listening is very important. I, yeah. <laughs> for them to feel comfortable coming to us and saying what they have to say, that means we should, they should automatically listen. Just listen. Like, listen. Because yeah. a listening ear can solve so many problems. Just like my mom said, so many times you just want people to just listen. Yeah. You don't want no feedback. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. I don't need a solution. Just listen. Just listen. Honey, how does it feel like when your friends want to go out there and hang out, but you have to be here with more circle of friends, with your mother and the rest mm -hmm. of your circle? You know, out of that time, you know, I know you want to probably want to hang out with them, but how does it feel like to to know that you're needed here? Great question. It feels. I can't ask for a better, how can I say, a better foundation of family and most circle friends. It feels amazing. Like, I'd rather be helping out kids, feeding the homeless versus out drinking and clubbing with people. I'd rather be here doing that. It has something I, that matters. Something that matters. Something that gives back. Something that matters. Yeah. Something that matters. I can always do that another time. Mm -hmm. I can always do that another time. But when we have things planned, I'm here, and it's just an amazing feeling. And sometimes my friends come out, support, help, donate, you know. So I have, you know, friends, some friends that, you know. And how does that make you feel? I love it. When my friends come out and support me, I love it. I love it. Because it just shows I'm not the only one out here with a great heart. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's, it makes you feel like, okay, we can change the world. We got it. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. We can do it. And Vanya, how does that make you feel? When you see your daughter, you know she wants to be with her friends, but she's willing to sacrifice in order to help you in your vision. 
Well, first let me sign up, right? I just, I'm very thankful, you know, that it's not a big deal. Well, at first, well, it's not a big deal for her, and I'm just blessed. Because this is my right hand right here. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and I'm thankful that she's, um, this is a prior priority on her list as well. You know, with this yin, this is the yin to my yang right here. Literally. You know, yeah. So, um, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling that she, this is priority on her list as well. Okay, why are you seeking volunteers and mentors for the youth? that are involved in the program? I honestly feel like we are seeking them because everyone has something that they can teach someone. Right? Right. I feel like everybody's going to learn from someone. Right. And uh, volunteers can have so much, so, you know, different ideas to bring to the profit, nonprofit. And also, we're growing. Mm -hmm. Like this year, we put on, um, we had our first summer camp. And we had about 40 kids. But we only had four volunteers, you know. So it would have been nice to have a little bit more volunteers. But we made it, you know. But we made it, yeah, we made it happen. We definitely made it happen. You're doing a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, with all the violence that's going on with our youth and within our communities, how does it make y'all feel knowing that y'all provide these little boys and girls with a place to come that's safe and drug free and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Can I say immaculate? <laughs> Can I say immaculate? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a really good feeling because when I first, we first moved around here, it definitely wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it took a lot of work, mm -hmm. but um, hey, it's a whole lot better now. And it feels good that our kids, you know, can come and outside and play in there their space and don't have to worry about as much violence, you know, because you can't really get a, totally away from it. Sure. But, you know, it feels really good. But it keeps you away from some of the negative areas that they can be persuaded to go into. That's yes. right, that's right. And yes. we try to keep, you know, we try to um, keep a lot, a lot of positivity going on around here, you know, to show them that. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be that way. I know you probably don't get a lot of thank yous from the parents that's out there that see their child coming to your location. But we do. We do. Yeah, that's we one thing. Knew. Yeah, we. Ah, yeah, we. Yeah, 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 we do. We actually knew a lot of thank yous. Yeah, I mean, but how does that make you feel knowing that awesome. they appreciate that y'all giving up your time? and all that for their child. It's good. And how does it make them want to be a better parent? It's just, it's just a feeling that I really cannot describe, honestly, yeah. because it's like so many parents told us thank you, so many parents donated things to yeah, us, yeah, like during yeah. the summer camp, just during any time, like, hey, do you guys need anything? Yeah. And yeah. they always tell us thank you. Always. Always. Show us much love. You know, always, 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 always. You think they really want to help out but don't know how? You know, a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there that really want to help but just don't know how. You know, because, you know, once, for me, at least once I mentioned that um, I got a nonprofit organization, you know, it's like I get a, people that wants to buy, um, donate and that do the, donate. So it's a lot of people out there that really wants to help, and they do, they help. So we really have been blessed in that area, right? Yeah, now. I can say that, yeah. Okay, at Moe's Circle of Friends, you've had trips to movies, you have book bag giveaways, trip to campsites, mm -hmm. science activities, mm -hmm. and you have so many other events for the kids. I'm how does that make you feel to know that you're being able to give these kids probably an experience that they probably won't be able to get if it wasn't for more circular things? It feels really good. You know, I hate to keep saying like <laughs> really good, but it feels awesome. 
you know, because and the kids look forward to um, they really look forward to these little um, trips that we take them on. You know, so it feels awesome. It feels amazing because as a child, like I said, like I stated earlier, I didn't have to worry about certain things growing up. You know, we took vacations, yes, we, we went to movies, we did a lot of things when I was growing up as a, child, as a child. So, seeing children not be able to do those things because some parents work too much, some parents might not have the extra funds, and for us being able to do it, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. Because they all are, are so thankful for us. They yeah. always tell us, thank y'all, thank, thank you, thank Auntie you. Granny. Yeah. They thankful. always make sure they show the appreciation. That's why I see it's so much deeper than just mentorship. You know, this they're they're like family now. Literally, you know, like family. That's Auntie Chris. This is, you know, we're like family. Describe that feeling when y'all at the movies and you got these kids. You know what I'm saying? And they and they so excited that they're able to at least go to a movie. Describe that feeling that each one of you may have when you see that joy that you see these kids have at that moment. Like, dang, we did that. <laughs> dang, that's why I'm like, dang, hey, we, we did, did that. that. We did that. that you know, even when we went mm -hmm. to, even when we went to the um, Charlestown Landing, the same, you know, like, dang, we, we, we yeah. did it. And we, we did it, you know. These are things that we thought that we wasn't going to be able to do, but yes. we, we, we did it. We made it happen. The three week summer camp. That was something that we thought we wasn't gonna be able to do, but we did it. You know? Three weeks. They had the kids, everything. So, you know, it's an awesome feeling. Awesome feeling. And for yourself, Monique, you know what I'm saying? When you have like a book bag giveaway, describe that feeling when you see that child being given a book bag that he probably or she probably wouldn't be able to get because of financial situation at home. The feeling I'll describe will be spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because it's, it's a spectacular feeling because it makes you feel great inside knowing that you are able to provide something for someone that isn't able to provide it for yourself at the moment. You know, everything. Everybody go through hard times in life. Exactly. You know, we've had. That doesn't mean you're gonna have. You're gonna be there forever. You know. So being able to provide a service to someone that doesn't have it at the time is a spectacular feeling. It's joyful. Yeah. It's like it's exciting. Yeah. Okay. If each one of you had to give one word to describe most circle of friend, what would it be? I would say appreciate it. <laughs> I would say a blessing. Ooh. Why do you say each one of those things? Because that's what we feel. We appreciate, you know, what we do, and we feel appreciated. You know, that's that's how I feel. What do you? Would... And I say a blessing because that's what we are out here doing. We're blessing other people. We're being a blessing to others. We're out here doing great deeds to others. For just out the kindness of our hearts. Nothing in return but love and smiles. That's it. Right. That's it. Now we've been taught that when you bless others, your blessing comes back in return. How true is that? Very true. That's right. <laughs> it is very true. Yeah. It's very true. I can definitely say blessing others really made my blessings come back on me. And there's never a time that we have went without. That's a, yeah, there's never a time that we, we went, went without. without. Literally, there's and never there's, a time. Since we've been um, feeding, and since we've been doing the book bag giveaways, there's never been a time since we started that we haven't had the funds to do it, or, you know, we've always, he's always made a way. Mm -hmm. So that lets us know we're doing exactly what we need to do, because we he's never let us down. Never. Where do y'all see more circle of friends five years from now? I'm hoping that we have a center. We will have a center. Yeah. We're gonna have a center five years from now. You know, that's our goal, is to have a center. So the activities that we do outside, because the majority of our activities are held outside, 
we would like to have a um, center, so you know we can do the majority of our events on the inside. That's where I see us five years. And five years from now, I see us as well in the center. I feel like we're going to be more expanded with more volunteers. We're going to come in contact with a lot more different nonprofit organizations, do more group work, but you know, come, you know, collaborations with more nonprofits. Maybe even be on the open. Uh, Maybe on Oprah Winfrey one day. <laughs> and then we can let her know it all started with Mr. Paul Brown, child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. I mean, that's not, it's not impossible. That yeah. can be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. nothing is impossible. That's right. That's right. You know, speaking into existence. Ooh. That's right. That's right. That's, that's what done. you, you know, there's things that you have to do in order to get to that point, but then again, how bad do you want to get there? How bad do you want to get on Oprah? How bad do you want to reach for the stars? You know, because it takes, you have to Hard do work. it. And yes. that's what it takes. Yes. You know, but it's possible. Most definitely. Most definitely. Positive thinking creates positive results. Yes. yes. I'm so, big on that. Yes. Certainly, certainly. So why community leader? Is it so important to get the community leaders involved in your program? It's important because um, they're the ones that um, can help, really. That they're the ones that, um, right? I feel like it's important because there, everyone needs to see involvement from our community leaders. Our community leaders want something from us, right? Mm -hmm. Eventually, they're gonna want something from us, like their vote or something. So why not return, actually show that you're in here in the community helping out and actually giving back to the community. It's important to get that community community and leadership bond. Bond, you have to create a bond so they can feel comfortable they also to see you, to know that it's not no bad business, you know what I'm saying? And why is that important to get your community leader involved? Because you're giving, you're voting them into office, and that's part of their responsibility as being a community leader is to to make the growth of the community, especially a positive thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The community leaders, at least that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Right? Help bring some positivity to the. Um, communities and if, I guess that would be a good thing to get them involved so they can bring some because that's we definitely need a lot more of that because if we're voting them inside our communities we want to want them to actually be involved in our community if we're voting in our if we're voting you in we want you to be involved not just voting you in and we never see you again and we don't know where you know we can't call on you to 